So it's a little rich to me that the Conservatives' chief argument against this program is, is, is there's confusion and misinformation when they are the or originators in chief of that misinformation, right? So I would say to them, look, fine, you want to be against this program. Okay, then be clear about it and be honest about it. The Conservatives have gone from saying it doesn't exist to saying it's too confusing. If, if, you know, if their health critic wants to debate with me on, on the merits of how confusing it is, welcome, you won't find him doing it, right? What's confusing about it? It's easier to use than, uh, than private insurance. Providers are getting paid in less than 48 hours. I defy you to find me providers who are using the program that are having problems with the program. But I can find conservatives who are desperate for it to not work. And I think it says something fundamental about their interest. Their interest here is a political one. And it goes back to the question that I, that I came before, and it's an instinct I have about Canada. I think this country is interested in results. I think they're interested in seeing us lift uh, uh, Canadians up. I don't think they're interested in finding divisions and trying to create problems. And what I think has been able to work, and you look at the bilateral agreements that we've done with provinces and territories, we were able on aging with dignity and on working together and on primary care, we were able to get agreements with every province and every territory in a spirit of cooperation. I think if the Conservatives want to win the next election, they should have the best ideas. If they want to win the next election, they should show how they're going to make the country better than we're making the country. But trying to set fire to things that are working because they're afraid politically it's going to be bad news for them, I just think that's, well, frankly, it's fun. What do you make of the NDP's call to the election? to investigate what's behind the social media post that followed your polyester rally in the first place last week. What do you make of that call? I think, um, you know, the NDP is, is, uh, is certainly free to do what they're going to do. I think um, there's a lot of questions that have to be asked about the forces that Pierre Polyev is playing with. Uh, there does seem to be, at its heart, an interest to light things off, uh, to create more problems and find divisions. I don't know what's going on behind a lot of what's going on there. To be honest with you, I try to stay off social media. Uh, what I try to do is wake up in the morning and go, how do I make dental care work? How do I get an agreement on pharma care? So that's really where I'm going to stay focused. Um, those are fair and legitimate questions, but probably I don't have really a lot to add more than that on it.